Hi, and welcome to Learn HTML and CSS. So to complete the assignment that you're doing, you need to be able to uh, use HTML and CSS to develop your, um, your page. You're going to be using HTML to develop the basic structure, and you're going to be using a common style sheet. Okay, so not individual CSS in each page, but one style sheet common to all the pages in order to set your styles. You also need to do this without the use of a commercial program. So you may have used HTML and CSS when you did your IDT studies at school, and you may have used a program like Dreamweaver to do this, um, but you are not able to do any uh, commercial program uh, like Dreamweaver. You need to develop your websites using plain text only. So that means you have to type text and nothing else. You can't use a GUI interface, so a graphical user interface. So how do we do this? We might remember some HTML from when we studied uh, for our exams, which only a, a small short time ago, uh, but maybe we didn't. So we need to make sure that we go and brush up. Okay, um, we have a link to Code Academy. Okay, and you can go in and um, and look at Code Academy and use some of those resources. Um, I would recommend two courses. There's a course called Introduction to HTML, and there's a course called Learn CSS. Uh, and these are both really good courses that will teach you everything you need to know about HTML and CSS. Um, it is up to you whether you go and do these courses. I can really, really inc um, encourage you to do it. Um, I know when we did this in previous years, uh, you could really easily tell the students who uh, didn't go and do the courses because they had real trouble trying to be competent in the, the writing the pages. The HTML was hopeless, the CSS was hopeless. Uh, they didn't use a common style sheet. Um, and they walked in and they assumed they knew what they were doing uh, and away they went. So if you've already done the courses in the past uh, with your teachers, that's fine. You might want to quickly look at it to, to relearn it if you've forgotten it. Um, but it's really important if you haven't done any formal uh, HTML and CSS training and you know that you're a bit rusty, then you need to make sure to go and take the time. These courses can take a long time. The HTML one says in four hours. Um, so you will need to set aside a fair amount of time. If you're the type of person who gets things quickly or you know HTML already, uh, or you know some of it already, then this might be less, but it also might be longer if you're the type of person who, who takes longer to do things. CSS um, doesn't have a, a time on this one. I think it's about six hours. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but again, you, you'd want some time. So. I would suggest when you are learning HTML and CSS, I would suggest you would block out at least 10 hours to do that. Um, and I'd also suggest that you block in breaks because if you're trying to sit there and just code it all in one hit in 10 hours, uh, it's just not going to work. You're not going to uh, remember the content. You're not going to uh, be engaged. Uh, you're going to be bored. Um, and it's just going to be very tiring for you. Not a pleasant experience. So I suggest you, you plan out your time. Uh, you could easily do 10 hours in a week, uh, maybe do one to two hours a day. Uh, you could probably do it over a couple of days. Uh, but if you try to do it in one day, again, I don't think that's something that would really work. All right. So that is uh, Learn HTML and CSS.